guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm doing a trailer analysis on the latest Transformers The Last Night trailer, although technically it's called a preview and it's called the Izzy um, Stand and Fight preview, so I guess it's not technically a trailer, but I'm gonna call it a trailer. Anyways, for this video we are going to take a look at pretty much every frame in this trailer. Um, so let me get this set up and... Let's check out what's going on. So the first scene we've got is just the stadium, you know, nothing much going on with that. Um, we've seen that before, you know, it's got the engine piece just laying around from one of the ships. Uh, nothing new going on with that. Uh, then you have the mini Dinobots, which are adorable, I will admit. They are kind of cute. Um, and then you have Canopy standing up and... Um, Again, this is all stuff that we've seen in the previous trailer, but I haven't really talked too much about Canopy himself. Um, you do see him get shot, so it, you could pretty much say that he's going to die in the trailer. But I will say that Canopy does look like Long Haul with a different head. Um, so I don't think that he's actually going to transform in the movie, in my personal opinion. Um, I know people are saying that he transforms into the tank that was seen during the filming of Transformers last night, but I don't think that's, uh, this guy. Um, because it, it, it just, with the reused design, I can see them reworking it to transform into the tank, but I'm not sure exactly how much this guy has to do with the movie itself. Um, so I, I, I don't think there's going to be much of Canopy in the movie, so don't expect him to transform into the tank. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think he's the tank transformer. I, I do think he looks kind of cool, though. And then throughout the trailer, uh, Izzy's doing a narration. Uh, Isabelle Monaire's uh, character is named Izzy, which, um, they, they really thought of a, a, a really good name. You know, they, they, th they took their time in thinking of Isabelle's character name for Izzy. Anyways, um, so yeah, she just explains how she was just a normal kid until one day everything just went to shit. Um, apparently, from what I'm hearing, uh, her parents were killed during an incident with the Transformers, whether that has to do with China or most likely Chicago. Um, so there's that. Um, Squeaks does show up quite a bit. Uh, seems like his arm just falls off randomly, uh, so that's unfortunate. But um, still, I like this character as he is. He's just adorable. So, um, but yeah, the joke about the boyfriend type thing. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that joke. Just didn't really land with me. Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, and then in the trailer, she's running away from something, most likely the uh, Decepticons. Um, I mean, we can only assume. And then uh, we got a scene of Bumblebee and Crosshairs, and Crosshairs, like an asshole, says, uh, don't expect us to read you a bedtime story. I, I think that's hilarious. That's probably the best joke in the whole trailer, in my honest opinion. And that's because I love Crosshairs so much. Yeah, he's an asshole, but I enjoy him for being an asshole. Plus, also, he's... He's voiced by the same guy who does Bender, so, you know. Uh, anyways, uh, moving on from that, we have Isabel taking out the, um, the drone thing, the Mantis. I, I call it a Mantis, even though it's not a Mantis. The Mantis is from Halo, but it, it I'm just basically referencing that because that's what it looks like. Um, and then we got Squeaks running around, and we got Megatron! picking up Squeaks, and, and people are saying, oh, Squeaks is going to die in the scene. No, I don't think so. But uh, it is interesting that Megatron's just kind of curious as, like, what the hell is this thing? And then we got a bunch of Decepticons that, that show up. Um, we've got the Shockwave-looking one, which I believe they just announced is named Nitro. Um, and then we got Onslaught on the side. Now, Onslaught, I'm actually a little pissed off about. Um, he looks like he has Long Haul's head, but with it, it looks like a combination of Long Haul or Brawl's body. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I, I feel like I'm seeing parts of Brawl, but that might just be me. I, I feel like this is mostly just Long Haul with a different back and different arms. Um, I'm just not a fan of that. I would have preferred a, a totally new design for Onslaught, but they decided, no, nah, let's just reuse a design. Um, 
on the side, I think that's Berserker on the top, and then coming out from the corner, I believe that is Mohawk, which was another Decepticon that was announced. Uh, I can't remember what the uh, Decepticon uh, who's on top of the building is, but I believe that's the Volkswagen, or no, uh, I just said it was Berserker, but maybe uh, for the toy, Berserker transforms into that Chev uh, Chevy Silverado to reference the uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon movies, but in this movie, he actually transforms into the Volkswagen, I don't know, or maybe the Shockwave-looking one transforms into the Volkswagen, I don't know, I'm only speculating. But, um, yeah, those are the Decepticons that I'm seeing, sorry that I messed that up completely. And then they all just blow up, and Mark Wahlberg is bitching and moaning. Uh, and then we have Optimus Prime getting the shit kicked out of him by a bunch of characters that resemble the Steel Bane Transformers toy that was revealed quite uh, recently. Actually, that was about a month ago now. Um, so that's kind of interesting that that design does take place in this movie. I thought that it was either going to take place in the movie or it was just going to be a toy that they were just going to release. Um, I believe that Steelbane is one of these knights, because you can see a whole army of these knight characters, and uh, knight can also be plural, so there's that. Um, these might be the last knight um, characters that uh, the title is referring to, I don't know. Only speculating. Um, and then Isabel's like, no, I can help, and Mark, Mark's like, no, JLo. Okay. <laughs> And then, uh, this is a very interesting scene. So we got Bumblebee's voice box seemingly, uh, being fixed. So, I wonder how that's going to lead into the next movie, which is going to be the Bumblebee movie. So that's going to be interesting. Um, but the most interesting part, and I didn't really see this to start, is I see Squeaks in the background, and he's on top of the car just doing whatever, but what I did not notice and someone brought this up, is Wheelie is actually sitting right beside him. That is Wheelie sitting on top of the car as well. So, Wheelie is definitely confirmed from the movie. I mean, he's right there, so there you go. Um, but yeah, it is interesting to see actually Bumblebee's mouth open up. So, that's kind of cool. Um, we got an awesome shot of Isabelle on top of Hound which reminds me a lot of the Transformers Prime series with Bulkhead and Nico. So you have that. Um, and then we have this really badass shot of Hound and all these army dudes shooting up the place. And I, I just, I love this shot. Out of anything, I, I think this is either the first or second best shot out of the whole trailer in my personal opinion. Um, and then let's see, what else do we have? We have, it looks like, Lockdown Ship, which is interesting because it is taking place now. Uh, because you can see in the background the, the giant machine thing coming to Earth. And you can see all the, uh, the helicopters going to that. Uh, but it's very interesting to see Lockdown Ship might actually have a part in this movie, so we could see the return of Lockdown Ship. Uh, maybe the Autobots uh, take control of that again or something like that. But it is very interesting to see that that has a point in the movie. So they didn't just abandon Lockdown Ship because in Transformers Age of Extinction it was there. Um, but it didn't really do anything by the end of the movie, it just kind of floated off. So, it, it's pretty cool that they didn't just stop with that. No, they're bringing it back, so that's cool. Um, I don't know if it has a part with the, the machine, but uh, I think that's pretty interesting. And then we got some explosions and whatnot. Um, more scenes of what's going on with the giant machine, but I don't know exactly what's going on, so I can't really say too much uh, of it. Um, I, I still don't think that's Unicron. Um, and then we move on. Let's see, just trying to get to the next point. Uh, Isabel running away. We got some other shots from the TV spot. Uh, Josh Damal right there, so that's pretty cool. 
Um, there's also speculation that Izzy's character is actually Josh Damal's uh, daughter, like in the first movie. Um, so that would be very interesting. And then we got more shots of just stuff going on. I can't really talk too much uh, about it because it's just stuff going on right now. I don't know anything about what's going on, so there's that. Um, and then we got an interesting shot of, it almost looks like a force field around these people. Now, we've seen this shot before in a previous trailer, but not with this bubble around it. And I thought it was just like a, a shockwave type thing, but no, there's a there's an actual bubble going around this. So I don't know exactly what that has to do with anything. Uh, we see more shots of Squeak, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we actually get a shot of whatever the hell seems to be inside of the Earth. Uh, the giant machine thing, they're walking around it. Um, so you got that. And then we got what looks like Darth Vader's TIE Fighters. I don't know what these are. I really have no idea. Um, and, and I'm not sure if they're, like, our designs, like human-made or Cybertronian. They, they look more so, um, Earth design, but I, I could be wrong about that. I, I think they're just drones or something, and my dumbass, I have no idea what kind of drones those are, but they just look like Darth Vader TIE Fighters to me. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about military equipment and whatnot. Um, uh, the more I look at it, the more I, I think, yeah, that's a military drone type thing. And then we have um, someone going through a window. So there's that. And I'm seeing something on the side there that I can't really pick out. But it might just be nothing. I don't know. Um, and then we've got this very interesting shot of a cliff. And then it's got some Cybertronian bits on the side there. And it seems like they're going to jump down on the side of it. So that's interesting. And we see Tyrese Gibson, so that's cool. Um, Sergeant Epps, which I really do like. It, it's about time that we see that. And then we get the same shots of Optimus Prime fighting Bumblebee. Nothing really new going on with that. And then we got Grimlock eating up a car, and Mark Wahlberg getting pissed off about that. Um, which I think is kind of hilarious. I like how um, Grimlock's like, ah, stupid, stupid on the ground. So yeah, that's pretty much the trailer analysis. Um, it's a trailer. It's got a lot of stuff in it. So there you go. That's pretty much my analysis. If it's a bad analysis, then fine. If it's a good analysis, then fine. I'm only human, so I make mistakes. If I didn't point out something or I messed up, I'm pretty sure that I messed up with the drone things. But anyways, with that said, that's pretty much it. So like, comment, share, subscribe. All those do it ads. We'll see you guys next time. It's bad!